without further ado, I would like to welcome Dr. Rob Pennington, and please give a round of applause for <laughs> for for our Rob. I think <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Listen, I'm really excited to be here and very honored to have the opportunity to share what's made a difference in my life. So the things I'm sharing are not stuff I learned at school. Uh, it's about really learning how to give compassion to myself. And so I want to share those with you and give you some other resources and uh, just go through some basic concept what stress really is. It's a physiological, emotional reaction to a mental perception of danger. And it occurs whether or not the perception is valid or accurate. I mean, the results of stress are very real. I mean, it's so real that it could kill us. The CDC says that 65% of, you know, death <laughs> uh, has a stress component to it. So the first definition is stress is resistance to change. And, you know, anybody who's a, a good uh, Star Trek fan, you're going to understand the Borg and resistance is futile. Uh, we all are dealing with changes, and this is a massive one. So the better you had been at dealing with your own resistance to all the little changes during the day, the better you'd be at dealing with this big one that's happening right now. So that's the first way to think about stress and change, and it's resistance because, you know, of a couple of reasons. But I want to have you see what happens when we are resisting change. And I've thought a lot about this and I come up with what I call the automatic stress reaction. That means it's a habit. We don't think about it. Anytime anything or anyone is not the way we want it to be, I think this happens. We have a tendency to hold our breath, tense our muscles, have self-doubt, think negative, and become very serious. Second definition of stress, as a signal a change is needed. Now, I think there are only two things that you can change. You can change the world or you can change yourself. And sometimes changing the world is what we should do. <laughs> but, you know, I can't change the way the world is today, you know, but I can change how I respond to it. And that's all the difference. Deeper definition of stress, third definition, I guess, is stress occurs whenever I'm unable to create a positive image about change in my mind. So stress is always about projecting negative image. And we are very good at projecting negative images. I think it's just our natural productive uh, survival mechanism is to project a negative into the unknown. The problem is our body doesn't know the difference between what we vividly imagine and what's actual reality. Our personality is made of two things. It's made up of lessons we've learned and lessons we haven't learned. And all our stress is basically an unlearned lesson. And once you notice that and recognize that, then you can move from the automatic stress reaction to these five steps called the stress management response. And basically they're the opposite. So the opposite of holding your breath is breathe deeper. So everybody take a deep breath and breathe it out. And on the out breath, just relax. And that's the second step, relax completely. So right there, you've done two steps of the five in like two seconds. Now relax completely really means to completely be still. And most of us have resistance to that. We think we're doing nothing. And we've been taught that doing nothing is, you know, not responsible. But, you know, if you're going to meditate, you're going to have to be still. If you're going to be creative, you're going to have to be still. And so breathing and relaxing is really important uh, of the process. And to learn from move from self-doubt to confidence, to thinking that I can't, to thinking that I can. And so learning how to reassure yourself about two things. One, that you can, even if you don't know how. That's very important. I may not know how to solve the problem, but it doesn't mean I can't. I just don't know how. So the more I think I could maybe figure out something, the easier it's going to be to take one step. And that's what I'll talk about next month. But the other thing you want to reassure yourself is just about your value and your worth. And let me just emphasize this. No baby is born with self-doubt. And thinking positive is projecting the positive into the unknown. Um, let's see, Stephen Covey's book, Highly Effective, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. He said that, um, you know, begin at the end. And sometimes we don't know how to get to the end, so we can't even imagine the end. But thinking positive is really about that. Go, looking at the goal and starting from where you are and thinking one step that would take me in the general direction of the goal. And we'll talk about that more next week. But also looking for some humor because it's always there. And we can share that with each other, uh, even though we've got challenges and even though we've got unlearned lessons and even though we've got problems that we need to deal with. Uh, and again, Speed Through Stress, the workbook, 
I originally wrote five steps, oh, five pages. Well, it ended up being 50 pages <laughs> because there were stories I wanted to tell. And then I created like uh, ac activities and, and worksheets for people to practice each of these uh, five steps because just telling you these things isn't going to be enough. You know, you're going to have to actually practice breathing and learn how to relax, really. And the paradox of that is you have to tense before you can relax. So you can go through that. All that's in this workbook and it's all free at speedthroughstress.com and learn how to reassure yourself. You know, that may be a, a life lesson and to project that positive. Each one of those things we could play, place through the workbook on specific application to the challenges that you have before you today. So one of the things I'm here to do is to help you during this time frame to address how to apply anything that we've been talking about. And so I'm looking now for participation. Okay, we have a question from, uh, from, from Jenny, uh, Dr. Pennington. Uh, thank you for the five step, knowing what you know. I'm curious, do you still have days that you find you can't control your emotions? <laughs> of course. And I would so, say, how I would do you say, deal with that? <laughs> I would say every day. <laughs> yeah, we okay, are because human, right? that automatic stress reaction is a habit. It's automatic. So there are only a few things I can control. So listen to me about this. I can control the shape of my mouth. Okay. <laughs> I can control how much air I take into my lungs. That takes some practice. <laughs> I can control how much tension I carry in my muscles. That takes a practice. I can control how much I put in my mouth. That takes a lot of control. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I control my second thought, not my first thought. No matter how good, enlightened, aware you are, you're not going to control your initial reaction to things. So that's one of the things I want people to know is that even if you know all this stuff, you know, you're still going to get stressed. You're still going to get upset. You're still going to get angry. You're still going to get afraid. But if you know all this stuff, not for as long. You can learn how to recognize it quicker and breathe, relax, reassure yourself. I'll get through this. Think positive. What's the goal I want to do? And where's some humor? And, and then you're out of it. And you learn how to do that more and more throughout the day with all the little things in life. Let me just suggest this as a quick practice. I want everybody okay. to do this. So what I want you to do is I want you to smile for 10 seconds for no reason. How about that? Just force yourself to smile. Come on, Suki. Bigger <laughs> smile. Let's see some teeth. There we go. Okay, <laughs> hold that smile. <laughs> now, while you're smiling, hold the smile. While you're smiling, try to feel bad. Uh, okay? Can't. You, can't you can't do it. <laughs> that smiling actually triggers chemicals in the brain, just like laughter does it bigger. But yeah. the smiling is a simple thing. We tend to think, oh, I can't smile. I got nothing to smile about. I've got all this stuff going on. And if I went around smiling, what would people think? Oh, my gracious. You know, yeah. so we would be unhappy and stressful and upset and sick to keep someone we don't even know from having a thought about us. We wouldn't want them to think. Now, and what I want to share about this thing is because I don't think people read it right. Um, I think most people read it when I have the courage to change the things I can. When I know the d wisdom between having the courage to change it, then I'll get serenity. That's not what this says. This says you start with serenity and you don't even have to create it. You just have to receive it. So I'm just saying, you know, the source of life, um, make me serene, <laughs> you know, me be open. I'm going to accept your serenity. <laughs> and mm -hmm. from that, then I can accept the things I cannot change. Then I have the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. It's not the other way around. And I just think that a lot of people forget that. And so again, just to give you more information, the speedthroughstress.com and also uh, kiwilive.com. If you go in there stress, I've got a whole bunch of material there that um, I can uh, make available to you. This is where you go to the Kiwi Live. And mm -hmm. so I've got a worksheet that you can work with. I've got mm -hmm. the PDF of my whole workbook there. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a video of me talking about when I got shot in the center of my chest. Uh, wow. There's a, a video about conflict, how to end the majority of conflict in three questions. Uh, a video on feeling loved is more important than being right. <laughs> uh, my you know, link to my book on Amazon, uh, Find the Upside. I have an e-magazine on Speed Through Stress that's available. So all of that is, um, is through that link, uh, kiwilive.com. Just put in stress and it takes you to my stuff. And you make Besides all these available stress. for free. Yeah, all free. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Pennington.